The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Exodus. Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far away from the camp. He called it the tent of meeting. Anyone who wanted to consult Yahweh would go out to the tent of meeting, outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, the people would all stand up, and every man would stand at the door of his tent and watch Moses until he went into the tent. And whenever Moses went into the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and station itself at the entrance to the tent, while Yahweh spoke with Moses. The people could all see the pillar of cloud stationed at the entrance to the tent, and the people would all stand up and bow low, each at the door of his tent. Yahweh would talk to Moses face to face as a man talks to his friend, and afterwards he would come back to the camp. But the young man who was his servant, Joshua son of Nun, never left the inside of the tent. And Yahweh descended in a cloud and stood with him there and pronounced the name Yahweh. Then Yahweh passed before him and called out, Yahweh, Yahweh, God of tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in faithful love and constancy, maintaining his faithful love to thousands, forgiving fault, crime, and sin, yet letting nothing go unchecked, and punishing the parents' fault in the children and in the grandchildren to the third and fourth generation. Moses immediately bowed to the ground in worship. Then he said, If indeed I do enjoy your favor, please, my Lord, come with us. Although they are an obstinate people, and forgive our faults and sins, and adopt us as your heritage. He stayed there with Yahweh for forty days and forty nights, eating and drinking nothing. And on the tablets he wrote the words of the covenant, the ten words. In our response, from Psalm 103, Yahweh acts with uprightness, with justice to all who are oppressed. He revealed to Moses his ways, his great deeds to the children of Israel. Yahweh is tenderness and pity, slow to anger and rich in faithful love. His indignation does not last forever, nor his resentment remain for all time. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, nor repay us as befits our offenses. As the height of heaven above earth, so strong is his faithful love for those who fear him. As the distance of east from west, so far from us does he put our faults. As tenderly as a father treats his children, so Yahweh treats those who fear him. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. I will speak to you in parables, unfold what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. Then leaving the crowds, Jesus went to the house, and his disciples came to him and said, Explain to us the parable about the darnel in the field. He said in reply, The sower of the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed is the subjects of the kingdom. The darnel, the subjects of the evil one, the enemy who sowed it, the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. The reapers are the angels. Well then, just as the darnel is gathered up and burnt in the fire, so it will be at the end of time. The Son of Man will send His angels, and they will gather out of His kingdom all causes of falling and all who do evil, and throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Then the upright will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Anyone who has ears should listen. The Gospel of the Lord.